Hi, welcome to Walker Hamster. Today I got the unboxing of a Dell Inspiron 15R. I got mine from Costco since it was on sale. And, uh, well, the 15R series, the Inspiron series, are the ones with the, uh, the switch designs where you can change the, the lid, the, uh, the designs of the cover here. You can get them from like Dell for like 20, 30 bucks or so, but I don't see the point of it. Now, see, I got the i3 processor. This one's only the Sandy Bridge. And the reason I bought from t from uh, Costco is because it came with a um, 6 gigs of RAM. And it also has a USB 3. Whereas if I were to buy it directly from the Dell website, it would be about $50 more. Uh, it has Windows 7 Home Premium, um, DVD plus R, minus RW drive, wires in, a webcam, HDMI out. It's a 500 gigabyte hard drive and it has the integrated Intel HD graphics. Now the screen size is only 15.6 uh, HD widescreen and the CPU as mentioned was i3 processing at uh, 2.3 gigahertz with only 3 megabyte of cache. It's, uh, it has a 6 cell battery. Well, I'm just go ahead and open this up. It's an awful lot of cardboard for a laptop. Some manuals here. And here it is. Here is the laptop itself. Let's see. Connect the AC adapter before using your system for the first time. Yeah. Let's see. That's it. This is very minimal packaging. Here's the three prong AC adapter. Let's get rid of this. I like how they have the uh, the Velcro here on the power cord. Oh, it just makes it so much easier to have lo having loose wires in the laptop bag. I also appreciate how the uh, this power cord is this this uh, power adapter here. This brick. It's not really the size of a brick. It's a lot smaller than I imagined. So I'm just going to plug in the power first. All right. Let's take a little look at the ports we have. So starting from the left side here, we got a USB two, HDMI, eSATA. There's a SD or MMC card reader or MS Pro memory stick pro here are just LED status indicators here's the uh, DVD drive headphone microphone USB 3 uh, the Kingston lock at Ethernet another USB 3 the VGA and the power Let's look at the bottom here. So here's the battery. It's a six cell battery. Uh, the ports are open so I can always unscrew this and add more memory if I wanted to. And the speakers are down here. Which is a kind of a weird place to put speakers under the laptop. That's, I'm pretty much sure, I'm pretty sure it's just going to muffle the sound. Let's open this up. It's got a full-size keyboard. Six-inch wide screen. It's uh, screen looks nice. Let me just plug in the power and power it up. See how long it takes. This is also the first boot up. Oh, what's interesting is if you look at the touchpad here, the touchpad exceeds the uh, the length of the keyboard by about 
a centimeter. On my, uh, on my uh, work, comu work computer is the HP Leapbook and many of the other computers I own in the past, the touchpad was always the length of the spacebar. That way you don't touch the touchpad by accident by, the, 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 by your palm. Uh, but when I got the MacBook Pro with Retina, I thought that was anomaly and just had to live with it. Now it looks like Dell's doing the same thing too. Well, let's see, Dell took up basically the whole real estate for the keyboard, so we got the number pads here too. When I was younger, I would have appreciated a laptop with a number pad because uh, a keypad, just playing games, it just made things a lot easier. Finish is fine. Rip this this off. Hmm. I'll just go through the uh, setup menu. Type in a name. Let's see, Dad. Uh, let me call this Dell Let's call it Dad and Spawn. My dad has too many computers. Password. Oh man. I'll just do this some other time. Let's see I agree. I agree. I'll read it later. Oakley Dokley. Let me put in the password. Well, it's, it is a Windows computer, so, and it's not an SSD hard drive. It's uh, probably only 5200 RPM. Well, that is thinking. Let's take a look at the uh, some of the other buttons on here. I'm not sure what that button is for. This one has a wrench, and this, this one almost as it, it looks like this to turn them on or off. I actually like how the function key on the keyboard is here. Uh, some of the other computers, they put the function key over here, and it's really irritating. Because I'm just so used to that my pinky goes to the, contr to the control key right here. These are just little, little things that I appreciate when I use a laptop. I hate it when vendors try to redesign a keyboard. So while that is thinking, on the mouse pad over here, I also notice that there's it looks like it's a a uh, LED light over there. I'm not sure what that's for. Let me see if I can turn it out somehow. I don't see any buttons for it. And while that is still thinking, let's take a look at what was inside this plastic bag. Okay, it's registration. Fine. Here's the uh, drivers, utilities. Let's see, user agreement. The Inspiron setup guide. Well, Let's see, safety, environmental, regulatory information. Sum it up. Recycle your computer when you're not using it. And warranty and support information. That's it. Anything else? Oh, so the screen changed. Let's see. Do I agree? Let's see. Do I allow my computer to receive updates and alerts? No. Allow Dell to contact to collect software usage data? No. Sneaky, sneaky Dell. 
Oh man, the first boot up is taking quite some time. Well, that's booting up. I might as well just start ripping off this, uh, these things here. Yes, update Java. It's always important to update, keep your Java up to date. Let's take another look at some of the other ports here. On top here, let's see if I have my camera focus. Here's the webcam and stereo microphones. All right, booted. And spamware. Bloatware. The battery came only 80% charged. Let's see what else I got. It came with with a uh, McAfee, Intel graphics, Bluetooth, wireless, and Dell webcam control. Well, I'm not sure what this is, but I'll probably just do it some other time. Let's see, sync power makes it easy music. Hmm, McAfee, get started. Recovery disk. This I'll have to do my do, do later. This is very important. Whenever you get a new computer, always create a recovery disk. And set up, still align, save, learn more. All right, it's done. There you have it. You can see the speed. You know what? It's it's not the memory that makes the computer faster. Like in back in the old days, it was always how much RAM do you have. Now it's SSD, solid state drives. That took like what five seconds for Internet Explorer to open up. Man. Okay, I'll just let this go. Well, I hope you like this uh, unboxing of the Dell Inspiron. It's a 15R. So before I uh, sign off, let me just show you the switch case. On the back over here, there's a little button that you would need to press right here. And once you press that, you can just press this forward, press the top piece forward and the lid comes right off. It doesn't weigh much. Uh, it's basically what this is what it looks like without the uh, the top cover piece. It is a little bit thinner, so it's less fancy. More of the uh, elements are exposed. You see more openings along the side here. So even though it, it will cut cut down the thickness if I keep this removed, but I might as well just always keep it on. And push it, putting it back on is just very simple. Putting it back on. Let me show you one more time. Essentially, just place it on here, press downward, and push this way. It snaps in. That's it. Well, I hope you like this unboxing. Uh, this is the Dell Inspiron 15R. It's not a bad laptop. It only costs four hundred dollars. It's a uh, i3, two point three uh, gigahertz, six gigs of RAM, five hundred gig hard drive, and um, for my father's, there's more than enough. Well, thanks for watching. Please feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe.